Hello guys and girls, uh, this is Hisido and this is my tutorial for detecting changes over analog signals and <coughs> to begin our uh, tutorial we'll need a few things I have here Ford's really nice analog measurement tool it's not my tool um, it is a very precise, nice uh, tool to to measure the power of the analog signal and to make the uh, measurements and uh, detecting the changes. We first need to store the um, store the analog signal, and it's done by a D latch. And this is a D latch, which uh, the original design is from Tetsujin. And then I've modified it with XORs and then IA042 added a selector here to um, disable the analog portion potentially hazardous uh, for storing the signal. Uh, so what this does is it removes that part and turns it into a pure 1.0 digital signal. This, this is basically the store signal input and uh, this is the input for our analog uh, to be stored. Okay. So you can see the design here, I won't go to in, into details, it's been mentioned in the forums and on LBB Central. But you can uh, just copy it over the design over from here. What basically does is using feedback loops at uh, when only when we require it, when we give the signal here, it stores the value in this OR, uh, OR gate and receives these uh, analog signals, which is received from from here. Okay, so to as uh, as an analog source, I'll just add a timer uh, that goes back and forth. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. I'll make it forward and backwards and inward output, and I'm going to. Uh, get the output to its input S and I'm going to lessen the target time so we see the change clearly this will be our analog uh, example but you can detect changes over any analog signals which would usually be sensors uh, okay for this to work, we need two D latches. We are going to uh, duplicate it, and then we're going to add a selector with a count of two. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get this here each of them each of the uh, uh, sorry sorry the the below uh, input is to tell the D lash to store the store the uh, input and we're going to connect the uh, analog source up here So we'll just get the output up there, and we'll see it's being constantly um, being stored in output. When we change the selector, you'll see it remembers the the last analog value it received here. Okay. What we need to do now is to make the selector go. 
from one to two at each frame. For this one, I'll do this. Get the second output into the first output and the first output into the second. So we'll have alternating uh, signal store signal to to both the latches and okay uh, so what we now have to do is we need to sub subtract those signals from each other um, which will give us a change over time okay let's do it we'll need a direction combiner here okay let's let's just take this output of our dlatch one to positive and the bottom bottom one to the negative when you okay let's see how this is pulsating from um, negative to positive and um, and you could guess now what we're going to do. So, what we've, um, we've got a very steady number there, although the sign is changing because uh, one gets behind the other uh, every time. Uh, so, every other frame, this gets activated and gets, and gets uh, ahead of it. It gets ahead of this one and each other each other frame this uh, gets active and gets up, um, ahead of this first one so when you when you make this uh, subtraction you have an alternating pulse now you should be guessing now where we're heading with this what we're going to do is we're going to just duplicate this Combiner, and this time get the make the reverse of the top combiner. So this will go not to the positive this time, but it will go to the negative, and this will go to the positive side. This is the exact uh, same number, but with the, with the different sign. So if you can choose it at the right time will have a perfect value uh, with, the, with the correct sign to, ch uh, to choose um, such choose analog values based on given conditions there is a very nice trick that we also use in the D-latch it's a very basic XOR uh, setup with three inputs okay and we'll need uh, two of these because we have two two of these signals to choose from and we'll connect the up one to here and the bottom one to the bottom what we'll do is really I'm just going to um, pause it and I'm going to connect the first one to the to the bottom XOR and the second output of the of our selector to the top one. Okay. Let's get them a little bit down. Okay. Right. And then if we combine this using OR will have selected the correct signs uh, value each time so yeah okay, let's try it out okay now when we go to the preview mode you see we have a steady number and it is in unison with our um, <coughs> timer here so we're basically detecting um, the analog change over time 
Now it doesn't need to be one frame apart. You could have, uh, you could make this uh, selector change uh, the outputs using a timer of your choice if you don't want uh, frame accuracy. Um, oh, by the way, let's check out if we have the correct sign. I'm just going to duplicate this and um, let's just connect it over here so let's see so when this is going up it should be positive and when this is going down it should be negative yeah that's, that's, we've selected the correct one um, basically this is um, the analog signal change detector working quite well actually and uh, this this is the example analog um, analog signal and I, we can change it with uh, with a, maybe a sensor or okay, for this part of the tutorial I replaced the timer which was our analog signal example with a player sensor and <coughs> just to debug I connected it straight to the top um, analog measurement device um, and our analog value change detector to the bottom one and now let's just jump down and check it out in, in the preview mode but when you okay when there's off, when it's constantly one there is no change of course when you're getting away you see that the, the detector changes into a negative sign with a value that is that's quite precise uh, that, a value which which is measured from the change from last frame um, and when you get in here of course we have a change with a positive sign which could be used for all sorts of sorts of stuff uh, and um, I think this this uh, has a lot of uses and I hope you make it uh, put it to good use in your creations uh, thanks uh, for watching bye